lecture we are going to discuss about the parity generator and parity checker so before that we will discuss why we need that suppose when you are sending some digital data right from transmitter to the receiver so this will be some groups of data so in this uh, example i am taking some 5 bits so when i am sending this 5 bits through this air medium suppose some noise is added in this free space and when you are receiving so we have receive when we detect or when we receive suppose if there is some error is have occurred right in any one of the bit suppose in the second bit see here double double one zero double one here double one double zero one right suppose one bit is we got error due to some noise effects now so that is not correct data right so what we need is so in this uh, scenario we need some error detection as well as the correction circuit now for that reason we will use this parity generator and parity checker so what is this parity generator will do is so when in the transmitting side we will use this parity generator so parity generator so in the receiving side the first block or will be parity checker right so what is this parity generator or parity checker is so apart from this message bit suppose this is called message bits so including this message bits and we will add some extra bit as a parity so if i add one more bit either even parity or odd parity so just remember now we are adding some extra bit and with extra bit we are sending to the air and when you are receiving and we will check some something that is it may be even parity it may be odd parity suppose whatever we send suppose we sent like a even parity but we are receiving like a odd parity so it will check that there is a some error so it will indicate to the again transmitter that there is an error then again it will resend that data so that is happens when we are using this parity generator and parity checker so why we are using this parity generator and parity checker so to detect some errors and to correct that one right so that is the some introduction about this parity generator and the parity checker right now we will see even parity generator that is suppose this inputs are the message bits so i am sending actually three bits now apart from three bits we need to add one more bit that is called parity bit so this is called parity bit now what is the condition here is so even parity that means including this parity bit we need the number of bits or number of ones in the present in this bits will be even so these three inputs are zero so to make even we need to add one more zero right so zero is like a even parity so i am adding one more zero now if you see the second one so how many number of ones present in the message only one to make even we need to add one more one in parity as a parity bit similarly here number of ones are odd so to make even one more one here already even parity is there so what we do just add zero so combining all this it will become even parity similarly one double zero this is odd parity to make even next this is even number of ones so make zero even number of ones make zero this is odd number of ones so may one more one to become even parity now this is like so this is like generator now what should be this p now if you remember the odd function of exclusive r right x3 variable uh, function or exclusive r function is called odd function so how to generate p so this is the three input exclusive r function you can verify see this is the what you call min term is one this is two and this is 4 and this is 7 so we have seen already 1 2 4 7 we see odd number of ones are there right so then output function is 1 so it is nothing but 3 input exclusive r gate or exclusive r function so this is a this is b and one more exclusive r gate the output will be p so that is the reason i told you the exclusive r gate will be used in as a parity generator so two exclusive R gates. So three input exclusive R gate. That's it. So this is the even parity generator, right? We'll see even parity checker. So that is we generated this with even parity. Now we are sending this data to the receiving side. So once we receive as a received data. So this is like received bits. 
right so whenever we got four received bits that is how many combinations we will get total 16 combinations we will get now we have generated even parity now we have to use even parity checker circuit that is it will count number of ones present in this received bits so how many number of ones are there so there is no one here so like a even now if this is even means it is a right so right means it will give as a zero the output will be zero that means the received word or the received bits is correct now the second one if, if it is counting the number of ones as odd so that means there is an error so it will produce output as one so that means it is indicating that there is an error similarly if you go this one it is counting number of ones as odd so error even number of ones no error odd number of ones error even number of ones no error even number of ones no error odd number of ones error then one so that is odd number of ones one even number of ones no error no error error no error 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 no error yes or no so this is the the even parity checker the output function now how to design a circuit from the truth table again if you see what is this function is nothing but see odd number of ones are there the output function is one so it's nothing but four variable exclusive r function you can verify the all truth table so if i see four number of ones even or odd even so output is zero odd number of ones output is one so it is nothing but exclusive r function so what is the uh, circuit for the checker is so this is x y one exclusive r gate then z comma p which is parity bit and one more input and this is going like this and both goes to one more exclusive r gate that is four input exclusive r function it is nothing but so this is the checker output right so here you have to remember is when c is equal to zero no error right when c is equal to one error is there so there is an error so there is no error when c is equal to zero when c is equal to one there is an error so it will acknowledge to the transmitter that there is an error so it will again it will reason so that is about this even parity generator and uh, even parity checker now we'll see odd parity generator and odd parity checker now we will see odd parity generator so what is this meaning is so it will count this is message bits message bits now it will count number of ones that is this is there is no one at all now to make odd what we need to do we need to add one as a parity here already one is there that is odd is there so no need to add any one similarly already odd is there so add zero here there is a even number of ones we need to add one one to make odd here already odd is there so no need to add here even is there so add one here even so add one here already odd is there so no need to add zero now sim what is this function is nothing but exclusive nor function or we can say it is an even function. why it is an even function if you see the function if i assume this is a function whenever there is even number of ones we are getting function values high so that is why it is called even function or simply exclusive nor function so what is the circuit diagram of this one it is nothing but first we will use the exclusive r gate that is a b and one more exclusive r gate and we have to use one not gate to make complement that is we know so if i take uh, take this odd function or even parity generator so whenever triple zero is there so we got zero yes or no but whereas in uh, odd parity generator so we got one here so this is just opposite of the even parity generator or we can say opposite of the odd function or we can say complement of the exclusive r function so that is the reason why i am making a one not gate at the output of this one this is c if you see this one here we will get a exclusive r b exclusive r sorry here here i will get a exclusive r b exclusive r c here what i will get complement of this one so a exclusive r b exclusive r c complement so what is this function so this is i can say simply either even function in this scenario it is odd parity generator odd parity generator so don't confuse with even function and odd parity generator so just opposite if it is a even function it will generate odd parity 
so that is about the circuit diagram for odd parity generator right so what is this one r we can say one exclusive r gate and one exclusive nor gate exclusive r with not gate will become exclusive nor gate so this is x y this is z and this is the parity bit p right now we are generated a parity bit p or we can say parity bit odd parity generator this one so this is the circuit diagram for odd parity generator if there is even parity simply two exclusive or gates see odd parity checker so what is this meaning so it will count the number of ones if there is a odd it will produce no error now we will see odd parity checker so what is this it how it will check is it will count number of one if there is odd parity there is no error if there is even parity we will get an error if you see this is a there is no i mean uh, the, there is no one at all so it is an even parity that means there is an error so it will produce output as one so error error means one so this is odd number of ones so no error odd number of ones no error even number of ones error is there odd number of ones no error even number of ones error is there even number of ones error is there odd number of ones no error and so on so this is odd number of ones no error 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 no error error odd number of ones no error odd number of ones no error even number of ones error is there right right now what is this function it is nothing but four input exclusive nor function or we can say even function again it is like a even function see four zeros output is number of ones here so there is no one at all so like a even so it is output is high now if you see there is a odd one so output is zero here even number of ones output is one so it is like like a even function even function so even function or we can say odd parity checker so what is the circuit diagram for this one so again same exclusive or gate that is x y and z p and we'll get exclusive or gate only up to here it is same but after that we should get complement so i will add one not gate to get the parity checker so as we have seen in this uh, example that is even parity checker so we have got the what is this odd parity checker or we can say odd function why it is called odd function whenever there is a number of ones are odd we'll get the functional is one so which is nothing but exclusive odd function so this is this is just opposite of this one that means we'll get exclusive or get complement so how to get the complement like this or or this total circuit will become two exclusive or gates like this and more one exclusive nor gate which will become c this is x y z p right so this is about the even parity generator and checker similarly odd parity generator and checker right so this is the applications of this exclusive or gates right like a error detection and and remember it will not do any correction it will just send the signal or acknowledgement to the transmitter that there is an error so transmitter will again it will resend the data right if it is again getting the error then it will again acknowledge so it will not correct the data remember so just it will intimate that there is an error right so corrections it uh, the transmitter should have take care so that is about this one now one more thing uh, what is the limitations of this one is it will detect only one error bit right so what is that meaning suppose i have generated odd parity or even parity right suppose i have generated this one as even parity suppose one bit is changed so it will detect suppose two bits simultaneously simultaneously change so it will not detect that is the drawback of this this even parity generator or odd parity generator so it will uh, it will detect it can it can detect only one bit of error whenever there is a one bit of error then only it can detect so that is either even parity or odd parity so that is a drawback of this one so just remember that one so this is about the even parity and odd parity generator as well as the exclusive or functions or exclusion or functions applications right